Tesla and the industry of EVs are crashing. And I kind of knew this was gonna happen in the long run. And it started adding up a lot quicker than what I expected. So back in 2020 and 2021, the government of US and mostly other governments around the world start pushing, let's go electric, let's go electric, let's go electric. That's all they cared about, electric. Let's get rid of emissions. Let's go energy free or clean energy or like emissionless. Yeah, how's that working out? First of all, electric cars and Tesla are being charged by your house, which a power plant produces, which is not really clean energy. And if you go to a charging station, there is a lot of instances where the charging station is powered by a diesel generator. And that is one way it is not clean energy and Tesla and EVs are losing it. Also, recently, just recently, in Chicago, because of the cold front, Teslas and EVs couldn't charge because the charging stations were just broken. The car itself may have not been broken, but the charging stations were all messed up that there was long lines waiting for a charge. I don't know, it took like a couple hours just to charge one Tesla. And also in California, they say, let's buy an electric car let's make it by 2025 or 2028 everything has to be electric no new ice engine sales for cars everything has to be electric but at the same time to tell you don't use your ac too much because it could cow uh, it could cause a power outage because our electric grid is overloaded so that just being it california that's always being hypocrites but also if you take a look at other news like hertz they are getting rid of all of their electric cars because they know they are not working first of all customers may have problems charging them second of all if a wreck does happen it's hard to find parts and usually when you fix a tesla if you want supercharging you gotta go buy tesla's rules and use their parts you can't simply just buy some knockoff parts but you gotta buy strictly tesla parts if you want to continue renting out the tesla or ev and allow supercharging also, since Elon Musk did change the price and lower the price of brand new Teslas, the Teslas have basically lost value on the used car market as well. And in other news, there's also a rumor that the new Dodge Charger is going to be a heavy V8 again. That's just a rumor. So as you can see, even Dodge is going back on their plan of making an electric Banshee Charger. Elsa, Toyota coming up with a hydrogen engine and more fuel economical ice cars to make for the near future. They say they're gonna destroy it. They're gonna destroy EVs with this new future engine. And also say to the Cummins, that Cummins produce a hydrogen power engine that can also produce and run on diesel. I mean, not produce, run on diesel. Hydrogen and diesel hybrid out of a Cummins. And guess what? BMW also recently came out saying that they figured out how to make a hydrogen reliable. Well, we'll see how BMW is. BMW is not really too reliable in a lot of areas, but as you can see, a lot of car manufacturers are going away from the EV market, as well as Ford saying it is not profitable to make electric cars like the Ford F-150 Lightning. Well, why? Well, I can tell you one reason. When people try to tow something with an F-150 Lightning, it'll tow, but it only lasts about 50 miles before you need a charge, and that's why everyone wants a diesel power or gasoline power engine. And a lot of ex-Tesla owners or even current Tesla owners say they do not like their Tesla or EVs in the long run. Once they start getting in age, they have having problems. And I can tell you some of the number one problems they have is basically that's why you get a new phone every two even even one two to four years or even one to two years you always have to get a new phone why batteries wear out and start dying a lot faster charging is trash software updates bugs all of this ev stuff is just not working and that's what i see today is going on is ev sales going down the trend going down all because of these problems and not to mention that EVs are actually expensive. It's actually more expensive to fix an EV than to buy a used one or a nicely cheap priced new one. Just not canceled.
guys, I'm Eddie B. What? 2006. Okay, this particular package. Drive an attempt on the sex series. Ooh.